guys and welcome back to my channel so <laughs> what was that um <laughs> so today we're gonna do a different type of video well not really i mean this channel is just all over the place but anyway i i've been meaning to make this video for a really long time and i never kind of had the courage to do it like i'm not really i okay you know what i'm autistic <laughs> So I'm 27 years old. Last year when I was 26 I got diagnosed with autism after like this real struggle to get even like the opportunity to get diagnosed because the people in my healthcare system are extremely sexist apparently because I'm a girl so how could I possibly have autism? But anyway. <laughs> so yeah I've been pretty uh sure or like not sure i think i've had like hints here and there um like little doubts like if i didn't have autism i remember when i was like 14 15 i was pretty sure that i had autism and that freaked me out so much that i just ignored it and i never told anyone and i just i was like if i had it i'm pretty sure someone would have noticed by now and my parents would have noticed my doctor would have noticed so i'm pretty sure this is all just in my head so yeah i um <laughs> i i just completely forgot about that until i started doing this whole process and i was like wait didn't i think about this before and i did <laughs> so okay a little backstory when i went to university i like my second year the beginning of the second year of university i had a complete breakdown um i develop panic disorder i developed um depression i was just so like my whole body just freaked out and i just i was so tired i couldn't focus i couldn't think i was so scared all the time i was so depressed i was so sad i was like freaking out all the time i had panic attacks left and right um a lot of other medical stuff that came into play that made everything worse um and here i am like seven years later i think eight maybe even eight i'm not sure um i'm not sure about the timeline but years later and i'm finally getting my life back on track and ever since i realized i have autism so many things make sense like first of all i very clearly had an autistic um burnout i had because like my doctor was like it sounds like you had a burnout but but things didn't add up like why i would suddenly have a burnout didn't really add up but apparently my amazing brain was just too tired of me trying to be normal like i wasn't okay people who know me will laugh so hard because i have never been normal <laughs> but still like i don't know like compared to what happened after that um little burnout i i was acting really normal like i was working so hard to hide my autism basically um not on purpose i didn't know i had it uh it's just something that especially girls do a lot um girls are really good at mirroring other people at trying to like they they like this is <laughs> words are so difficult um what i'm talking about now is like on average of course everyone's different everyone's journey is different and everything but like on average girls are diagnosed later in life because they just mimic other people and they uh like try to be more social i guess like they try really hard to fit in um not to say that boys don't but for some reason with girls it's just like that's a whole nother video about why girls aren't easily diagnosed um often what was i gonna say oh yeah so basically second year um my best friend moved away to england i had no friends in my class um i had a vitamin b12 shortage that i didn't know yet so i was so extremely utterly exhausted that my brain just couldn't handle it anymore couldn't handle the stress of like working so hard to try and be normal or neurotypical and um yeah so basically i had a burnout i just like my basically my body and brain and everything just was like nope and just had this like what do you call it oh 
what do you call it? Quartz lighting. Um, it's basically like when your computer freezes and then it freaks out and then everything starts popping up and acting weird and then it just shuts off. <laughs> That's basically what happened. So I went to a lot of psychologists in this time, like I went through them so fast because every time that I finally had someone that clicked, they either, <laughs> like one time one of them had to go because she, she was pregnant and uh, the baby was coming so like obviously you get a few, like a, you take some time off. Um, another one was just no, I did not like her at all. Another one uh, wasn't covered with insurance, so it was really expensive. And like, I went through all these different people and some of them changed jobs and some of them, um, like insurance wise, I had to go to a different one, which is really weird. Um, like after a few sessions, you're, you're cured. And if you're not, you have to wait three months and then you can like do the same thing again. So that's like i'm not sure if i'm explaining it right but it's basically like if you're if you break your arm or something and like after two or three weeks they take off the cast and like yeah now you're just gonna have to walk around with it for a while and then we're gonna recast it so it makes no sense um i might i might cut this out i'm babbling sorry um so yeah i had a lot of psychologists and some of them did hint at the fact that they were pretty sure <laughs> I had autism, um, but I just had so much to deal with. I had so many doctor's appointments. I was in the hospital all the time and I was just so tired. And I was like, I don't care if I have autism. Like, it's not gonna change anything. I either have it or I don't, I'm still gonna be the same person. But then, um, like a year ago, uh, one of my social workers, I guess, um, she was like, but maybe you should test for autism because um, all your treatments aren't really working, so maybe they need to do something different because your brain works different. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. So then I started this whole process of figuring out if I had autism. And yes, yes, I very, very clearly do. Um, if you look back now at my childhood and just my life, it is a miracle that no one <laughs> figured this out. <laughs> Okay, but to to their defense, like, it wasn't as well known as it is now. And, like, it wasn't as well known in girls especially. So we kind of had, like, the boys' autism image in our head. And that didn't really fit with me. Um, but, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. Um, basically, I just... I don't know. I want to spread, I guess, sort of awareness. Like, videos from people who have autism and talk about it online especially the girls have really helped me um so i think i want to make more videos talk about specific things like um what i recognized in my childhood um the things that like bother me and like what is autism and you know and like how did my diagnosis go um stuff like that i think i want to make separate videos about that just so um Maybe someone else will watch a video because I actually I watched the YouTube video. Um, I'll try to find it and link it down below. I, I think I watched several of people who were like, actually, autism is different in girls, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I had no idea. And okay, this is really bad. My but my psychologist, like at the time, who was like the person I had to go to to talk to, and then he kind of like decided if I was allowed to sort of take the official test to see if I had autism and talk to like the official doctor who was the one who diagnosed it and um, he didn't know that it was different in girls yeah so I had to educate him on that thanks to YouTube videos so that was really really bad and I've lost all faith in the system but um <laughs> So yeah, so I really love those videos. I love people who spread awareness, who talk about their disabilities. I want to talk about all of that more. I want to make more videos. I might not edit them a lot because that's the part where I just kind of like editing is really difficult for me. I usually, um, I don't know, like the screens, the computer screen is really, uh, and I usually have a headache and it's just, nope. Editing is a problem. So I might just Put these randomly videos online with minimal editing sorry um 
yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i don't think i actually said that much like i've been talking for 10 minutes but basically all i've said is yeah i have autism but now you know i was diagnosed really late and it's completely changed my life uh like i didn't like i like oh it's so difficult so okay technically it doesn't change you because you either have autism or you don't but knowing that i do has been so liberating like for instance see my background i've always been like this i've always liked cutesy stuff and things but there was this period of time i was like well it's not allowed anymore and none of my friends do it anymore and i i probably shouldn't because it's not normal and i was still way more cutesy and nerdy and stuff than anyone i know but i kind of like tone it down a little that um like what you call it, inhibition or is that like the opposite anyway that restraint is gone like completely gone i walk around with well i haven't walked around with it yet because it's new but like my little pony bags like my room is basically a mixture of a teenager and a seven-year-old and a library it's like everything just exploded all this cuteness everywhere so and i'm so happy i'm so happy so yeah i don't know i just i found more freedom being myself and um a lot of things are easier to accept now like the fact that i feel way younger than i am like at most i kind of feel like a 14 year old and i'm probably like a really young 14 year old and i am 27 so this explains so much and like i i read stories of other people who also experienced this like again if you have autism doesn't mean that you automatically feel way younger than you are but there are a lot of people on the spectrum who do feel this way and it just actually kind of ever since i know i have autism ever since i've like done research on it i this is the first time in my life that i feel normal there's like this whole community this whole group out there where i'm normal because this is just how a lot of people with autism are like they have all these obsessive special interests check they like things that are targeted more at toddlers check <laughs> they feel way younger than they are check they have trouble like with um knowing how to act in new situations and that can be really scary check um like so many things i'm like oh this makes so much sense and also like my anxiety has gone down so much ever since i found out about stimming and um because i've been doing that for ages i'm gonna make a separate video on this but basically stimming is like movements and stuff that you do like flap your hands or something um like things that you do to kind of deal with um the world <laughs> around you and being overstimulated and that explains so much about my panic attacks and why the normal panic attack anxiety things that i was doing didn't work for me like they worked to a certain level and then it just like plateaued because i was looking at the wrong things and now that i know that if i if i have to stim um to make me feel better like i i did that before and then i was really embarrassed i was like this has to stop i can't do this like i'm not normal it needs to get better i need to go back to that place where i didn't do this at all or like hardly and now i'm just like actually this is stimming and it would be great if i could do it less because that means i'm less overwhelmed and less anxious but if i have to do it i just do it because it really helps me and that has just been such a relief <laughs> and it just feels so much better and just like yeah i've been able to deal with so much more so much easily since i know um, but yeah, it's still a journey. I'm still learning a lot about myself and other people with autism. So if you have any questions or like ideas, suggestions for videos, like topics I can talk about, please, please, please leave them down below. Um, and I will make more videos or try to answer you in a comment. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a bit rambly. I didn't prepare anything as you probably guessed. Um, I just figured like I've been trying to make this video for months and months now and just never did it. So I figured I, I'm actually I'm doing a My Little Pony haul and I figured like I have makeup on and stuff and everything's kind of nice. So I'm just going to do this video right now as well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, leave a thumbs up if you did. If you want to see more videos about me, about all kinds of stuff really 
Um, I want to make more craft videos, I want to make more autism videos, videos about my fibromyalgia, which I've never actually talked about, videos about um, um, like my anxiety, like everything. I want to make videos about everything and about cute stuff and just follow me, okay? Like subscribe if you think that's interesting to you. And I will see you soon, hopefully, with another video. Bye!